Hey there, it's Kathy with Be Creative with Kathy. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to put together August Stamp Club card packets. Okay, so um, the packets look like this now. <laughs> yours won't be missing a leaf. Mine is for the video, but yours won't be. <laughs> I think that's funny, the first thing I saw. But we're gonna start, of course, this is the extra card. This is the third card that I made for you. Look how cute it is using that pretty bird stamp set or bundle. Okay, we're gonna start with this half of the packet right here. So if you could slide this out, and then here's an envelope. I include an envelope this month because we're gonna do a mini slimline card, and uh, it's just an odd shape, so I include an envelope in there too. Okay, go like this. Take all these little pieces. This is the card base, and I guess I should let you know that we're gonna use the Swedish Cherry stamp set and um, punch but the supply list is on the list of my youtube videos you can go find the supply list there too and i'll make it the next video after this video on youtube okay so there's um this is petal pink that's our card base there's two pieces of um basic white we'll use those later we're gonna start with this piece of um i'm gonna come up with my colors flirty flamingo and a melon mambo and real red now your pieces might be a little bit different size i just use scraps we're just going to punch with those so that's why and then of course you'll have the strip of granny apple nope nope um not granny what's the new one parakeet party thank you and some espresso now this is going to be our tag so we'll stamp on that later we're going to set these apart and like i said we're going to punch now okay so out of this real red piece you just need one little cherry so there we go. There's our cherry. Let me grab my waste basket and I can throw all these scraps away as we go. And then with the um, melon mumbo, now we need two. So there's one and two. Oh, I should show you the card too, huh? The card looks like this. There we go. And if you recognize this card, it's probably because you saw it on page 19 of the annual catalog. Love that card. That's a reason too that card inspired me to buy this punch bundle. Okay, then with the flirty flamingo, we just need two little cherry bases here. Like that. Okay. We have our two. So now we have our five plump cherries in different colors there. So then with our five cherries, of course, we need five stems. So I'm gonna just take and punch out five real quick of the little stems here. Two. Oh, we might need a pair of paper snips. Let's trim that off. Keep my stems one, two. Three. Four. Trim that down again, and then five. Okay, now we have all of our stems. Now we just need some leaves, leafuses, leaves. Let's punch out. On my card now, just like the Stampin' Up! catalog, I'm gonna punch out four. And you will have plenty of cardstock for a lot more than four. So if you want more leaves on your card, by all means, you put as many on there as you want, but one, two, three, four. There we go. So there's all of our punching. While we're at it, let's go ahead and do our stamping. Okay, so with the stamp set, we have this stamp set, or this stamp right here with friend. I've got that mounted on a block. You have two ways that you could do it. You could do it like my card, which is um, Versamark and white embossing powder. So let's do that real quick. And I am gonna bring in some kind of foam piece to go under my photo, photopolymer stamp. So I'm gonna just use the pad from my Stamparatus. Get that Versamark real quick before I do that. I am gonna use my embossing buddy just to get that static cling off of my paper and that way my powder only sticks to the ink and not to all the static that's on the paper. Okay, where did, oh, I'm looking for my ink pad. It's right there, Kathy. Okay, we're gonna ink that up good. 
and then just stamp that right down there, trying to get it straight in the center. Sorry if my head's in the camera, like that. Make that, sink, that ink on there really good. There we go. And now I'm even gonna use my reverse tweezers to hold on to that. I keep my white embossing powder in a tub like this. I'm gonna just scoop that up, lots of embossing, tap off that excess. And then with my heat tool, which shoot, I should have been heating up. And I'm checking for powder, but boy, there's it's really crisp. That embossing buddy definitely did his job. Let's melt that embossing powder now. So it looks like that. Now, if you don't want to take the time, you can also, where I had an extra... Hmm. little here it is you could also just take that let me clean my stamp set real quick with my or my stamp with my chamois here clean that off get that versa mark off of there but if you didn't want to do that and i'm going to do this um, um memento so you can see the difference you can just ink that up with some black ink get it nice and inked up and then stamp that down. Let that ink sink in. I'm not applying a lot of pressure, but I am holding it firm so that ink is sink into my paper. And looky there, so it could look like that. So you could do it either way, whichever way you prefer. Now, um, let me put that back. Let's start assembling our card now that we have all the pieces and parts done. Oh, but you know what? What I want to do is I want to stamp um, birthday wishes on the inside here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that while we have the inks out. Bring back in that memento and that birthday wishes stamp set. And just stamp that on one of the, the two basic whites are the same size. So I'm going to just stamp that right there on one of them. Okay, now we are done stamping for this card and ready to assemble. So with the one that I haven't stamped on, the basic white that is, I'm gonna just put a little bit of adhesive right here on the back, lay this on the front of our card. So it looks like that. And then I'm gonna start with that um, real red cherry. I'm gonna see which side looks better. Sometimes with the punch you get a, a a crooked edge or a funny edge. This one didn't seem to have any, but I'm going to take him about in the center, maybe a little bit above the middle, and lay him right there just like that. Then with my two um, melon mumbo, or like the darker of the pinks, I'm going to take those, and I'm going to keep the dimensionals toward the center. That way, whoop, that if we have to slide something whoop, over or under, we'll have room. But I'm going to take those, and I'm going to place this one in the right-hand corner here, a little bit higher, making sure that, um, let me find a stem, that my stem will still be on the card. And I'm going to just place him right about there. And like I said, oh, my now my cherries are the exact same, but I'll make sure this cherry is angled a little bit different so they don't look like they're all placed and they look like they're just thrown on the card. So this other Melon Mambo Cherry, I'm gonna take and just place him down here, maybe like that. He's placed a little bit different. Now with these two, um, I lost the color of them. Mm, flirty Flamingo, there we go. Dang, Kathy. I'm gonna place dimensionals on the back of those. And this one, I think I'm gonna to try to get it, well, we'll see if I, I might have to take some of those dimensionals off. But I'm gonna put the, take the backs off and see if I can't slide it into place where I want it here now. So this, again, I'm gonna, yep, that looks pretty good, making my cherries face a different way, or so the stem is gonna go a different way so they're not all in unison. That's the word I'm looking for. And this one here, I think I'm gonna just set, yeah, looks good right there. No rhyme or reason, just kind of throwing them on there. I don't think you can mess this card up. I think it's pretty simple, but yet it has that little bit of wow. 
Then with some liquid glue, I'm going to just go here and put a little spot of liquid glue at the tops of all of my cherries. And then I'm going to go ahead and place my stems on there. Now these two cherries over here, I'm going to place the stems so they go this way. And this is just what Stampin' Up! did on page 19. Like I said, I love the card. I don't think it needs to have any changes, except for maybe how we place the leaves and stuff so that they look right on the card. And then this one, I'm gonna go this route. We're gonna go this way. Cute. Same thing with this stem. Maybe a little bit not quite so angled, fitting on there nicely. And then lastly, this stem that we know, whoop, dropped him there. Fits in this corner of our card here. Just, <laughs> alrighty then. There we go. Stay. I don't want to push it down. Okay, I think he's going to just stay. There he goes. Right there. Perfect. Okay, now with dimensionals, I'm going to add my leafs to my card. So I'm going to use mini dimensionals. I think that's just a little bit easier. And I'm going to put them, this one's not cooperating my dimensional, in the center. Well, and you know what? I changed my mind. I'm not going to play them. I'm going to put them, what am I thinking? I'm going to put it on my card like this so that holds my stem in place just a little bit and I'm going to fix this stem. So place that dimensional down, put the dimensional somewhat on the stem or the stem on the dimensional and then place my, there we go. Don't even listen to what I'm saying that make any sense but I want my stems to look like that. Okay let's keep going. So this one, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to take that back off. I'm going to slip it here. And you know, I'm going to use my take a pick tool to put it in there. My big fat fingers just aren't working. There we go. And put that dimensional right there under the stem. And then put that right there. And then one more. Right here. Take that back off and just keep adding. And then this one here, I'm going to cover up. I don't know if you noticed, but I have a little, I guess I'm going to call it a chip missing out of my cherry. I'm going to cover that up with my leaf by just placing it right here. Take that back off. And then look, that little part of this <laughs> can cover up my so so far so good now they're not identical but they're close and I think they look really good then with a couple standard dimensionals <clears throat> I'm going to just place one right here and one right here and then take my um, banner and a little bit of glue in these top corners here so to stick to the cherry and be flat take these backs off and put that right there where I want it. And there you go, look how cute. Let's put the inside in. And there you go, there's your mini slimline card with the matching envelope. Okay, let's go on. Let's do card number two. And really, there's kind of a bonus card in this one. So card number two and three. I'm going to make sure I get my little gems out of there. I'm going to set those aside so I don't lose them. There should be three red ones and three green ones. Now, yours will be um, a large and two small. I ran out of small, so I had to use all large. I did take my gems. They come in a pack that look like this where they're ombre and they're darker and work to light. But then I took my Stampin' Blend markers with the dark Sweet Sorbet and the dark Parakeet Party, and I colored them so now they're all dark. Okay, you do have a post-it note, hang on to that. We'll use that in a little while. These three strips will be for our cherries and our apples. And then we have two card bases. 
both in black. We have the two strips that I went ahead and um, die cut with the spots and dots. I believe what this is called. One of my new oh, favorite dies. You know how I am. There's always something new and my favorite. But I love those dies. We're going to set those aside for now. And then you have two pieces of basic white per card like this. So we're going to go ahead and stamp on those now. Okay. Set this all aside. Oh, I forgot to show you the cards again. Let me bring those in. So when I saw Connie Stewart took those little cherries and turned them into apples, I thought that would be fun to do at class two. So we're going to do one card that is cherries and one card that is apples. So really this time you'll get four cards. The slimline card, the bird card that I already made for you, and these two. And then sometime... If you want to make even more, look how cute the little peaches are, too. Okay, let's get back to this card. I'm going to bring in my mat because we're stamping. And the first thing I'm going to do is on one of these little strips, I'm going to just stamp those two red cherries like this. So find my sweet sorbet ink. Move all this stuff out of the way. And I am going to stamp and punch so I don't run out of the white paper that's in your kit. So like this, find my cherry punch, cherry stamp, ink it up good in that sweet sorbet. And then I am gonna stamp toward the bottom of my paper. I think that saves a little bit because the leaves in the punch kind of get in the way. So I have that stamped and now I'm going to punch So there's one cherry, I need one more. Whoop. Toss that stuff off and go again. Now I can see that I can stamp my cherry real close here to the edge. And I don't waste a lot of paper. Go and punch that one out. And then my cat has decided to join us. So hopefully there he goes and he'll settle into the windowsill. Okay, then with a little bit of that parakeet party, let me clean my stamp again. We're gonna stamp a couple apples. Clean that off real good. Squeaky clean. Okay. And now I'm gonna make sure it's clean, get a scrap paper here. Make sure there's no red. Nope, there's no red on there. And now I'm going to ink that up in that parakeet party. And one more cherry, although now it's going to be an apple. We'll stamp that there. And then punch that out. And really, we need three apples. So there's one. And bring another strip. Stamp and punch, stamp, and then punch. And then stamp. Now, if you have some basic white of your own and you could waste some paper, then that's by all means. But for the little strips that I gave you, this is how you have to do it. And then we're gonna punch. Okay, now we have all of our apples. Let's go ahead. We need five leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and put the parakeet party away, put the cherry away, and bring in that leaf with a little bit of um, granny, or no, no, I'm sorry, garden green. I must have granny apple green on the brain. Now this one, we can just stamp two, three. Okay, that's all we're gonna fit on there. But I'm gonna go ahead and punch now. There's three of them, we need two more. One, two, three. Get rid of those pieces. Bring in that last scrap of paper and we're gonna stamp 
two more little leaves. Now we have enough leaves. This. One. Two. Okay, let's make sure that I have everything so far that I need. I'll put the green away, we're done with that. So I have my two red cherries. I have my three green apples. I have the three leaves and the two leaves. Now we just need stems. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the cherry stems. So like this, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, ink that up in early espresso ink. Stamp it down. Now, to save paper again, I'm going to take my paper snips and I'm going to just trim it like this. Trim this one. Okay, and then bring in, I lost my post-it note. <laughs> okay. Let me, oh, here, I can use this one that says video on it. But I'm going to use this as a handle now. And take this and put it into my punch. So there's one cherry stem. Same thing with this one. And stamp that one. And now we have our two cherry stems. Now we need three apple stems. So here again, you're going to use the post-it note. Because let me show you on my card. When you punch the apple stem, you want it to be a little bit shorter. And so it has that border all the way around the stem. I'm going to use my post-it note on my paper like this. Ink up that stem. And I'm going to cut some of that stem off. From my stamp. I think I want it about that long. Just like that. We cut the little piece apart. <laughs> Add the little handle. And now we need three of those. But now when you put it in your punch, it still gives it that border. Just like that. And then we're going to take our little paper snips here and just trim that apple stem down. So now if you can see what I'm talking about, your apple stem has that border all the way around, just like the cherry stem. So let's do that two more times. And I'm gonna make this one I think a little bit shorter. So one of my so my apple stems all don't match. We want them a little bit different. And then cut them apart. We have to use this as a handle to get it into our punch. There we go. Last one. And now I believe we have all of our pieces and parts. We just need to stamp on the card bases. There's one, there's two. Trim these down to size. And now I have my three little apple stems. Okay, we're done with the early espresso. I'm going to bring back in that um, parakeet party and that large sweet. Now, I'm going to make sure that my stamp is clean because it's stained now, and so now I never know. But I'm going to just make sure it's nice and clean. There we go. Ink that up. Oop, let me find my, here's my piece. Ink that up nice and good. And up here in the corner at a slant, I'm going to just stamp that sweet using my pad. <laughs> there we go. There it works like that. Nice. Clean my stamp again. Ooh. 
bring in another one of those um, um, basic white pieces for the base. And this time, I'm going to stamp it in the sweet sorbet. And this time, I want it up in the right-hand corner here. Maybe there. Let that ink sink in. Again, I'm not applying a lot of pressure, but I'm holding it firm so it gets a nice image. It looks like that. Nice. Let's do some stamping. Oh, while I have the red there, though, I'm going to take that cherry stamp again, oh, which is green now. I think it's green. Let's see which color I used last. Okay, I can't tell, so I'm going to go with the green first because it's a lighter color. I'm going to just stamp a little apple here on the inside like that. There we go. Clean my stamp again. And then I'm going to stamp that cherry in the red on the last piece here for the inside. There we go. Now we're done with that. For now, let's see if I forgot something. While I'm at it, though, I should go ahead and bring in that early espresso and stamp my stems. How cute that is, that little cherry. Oh, and here I need my post-it note again because I'm going to cut that um, apple stem short. Like this. Stamp that down and look, now it looks like an apple stem rather than the cherry stem. Okay, bring in some of that garden green and finish off our little apple and cherry here with a leaf. put it up here there we go okay now we need to bring in that black memento ink I'll try to get my pieces and parts here out of the way clean up a little bit so I have room to work now we're gonna start with that friend stamp again and stamp sweet friend that. Nice. And then on this one, we're going to stamp sweet birthday wishes. Got those ready. And then on this one that says sweet friend on the front, I'm going to do birthday wishes on the inside. but there's lots of other options and words in the stamp set that you could use instead. Okay, let's go ahead and assemble our card. Now that all of our stamping is done, we have all of our pieces and parts. Let me make sure I have my dimensionals handy, my liquid glue handy, my tape runner handy, and there's my other dimensionals. Okay, get rid of this. We're gonna start by putting these two pieces together. So we have these pieces here, and now your kit, the black should be a little bit long. We need to trim that down, but I'm gonna just take some liquid glue and put little spots here and there on the back. And believe it or not, I just noticed in my head I'm actually counting but we don't need to count, so let it go, Kathy. I get like that. Are you a counter too? Sometimes I catch myself counting my steps. I think there's a lot of us like that out there, but. Okay, there we go. And then like I said, I'm gonna just trim this over or turn it over and trim it down to size like that. Let's do the same thing to this one. And that's why I stamped it first. That way you can put this piece where it makes it so it's even bordered. We do this one next. A little bit of glue. I'll try not to count this time. 
Nope, still counting. Can't help it, I'm a counter. I wonder how many others. Does everybody count like that or just me? Am I the only one? Okay, I talked, so I don't know how many I did on there, but I did not count. Okay, then we're gonna lay this one down the same way, figuring how we like the border. Then we're gonna turn it over and cut it down. Now, when we add this to our card base, I left a little bitty border, not your usual fourth of an inch. This is only an eighth of an inch. So just be aware when you're putting, move, when you're putting the front onto your card base, the border is really small. And just like that. Let's go ahead and put the inside into. Same thing with the inside, it has this very, very small border. Just like that. Look how cute that is. Okay, it's ready for its apples. Let's do the other one real quick. Hmm. There we go. Same little border here. Try to get it straight. Let's go ahead and put the inside in. There we go. Okay, so since this one's ready, let's go ahead and put the cherries together. So you have your two little cherries, two cherry stems, and two leaves. I'm gonna start by just putting a little bit of liquid glue right here and glue in those stems to my cherries. Okay, then on the back of those, if that glue dries just a second longer, I'm gonna put dimensionals. I'm gonna place now all of our cherries are probably gonna be placed and put down different. But I'm gonna start, I think, about there. And then I'm gonna match so this stem is up so they match up here at the top. Just like that. Then I'm gonna take a dimensional. I'm gonna use my take a pick tool again. Oops, got the back on there. Just for placement so I can slip it under those stems here and I'm gonna put it a little bit more to the right because that's gonna hold my leaf right here in place like that and then with another dimensional on the back of this leaf I'm gonna just take that and place it right there cute right so let's go ahead and put the um, gems on here since we're right here so we'll just place one there I think I'll place one right there and then I think my third one's gonna go way down here at the bottom but you put yours wherever you want so there's one card down let's go ahead and finish up the apple card here I'm gonna start first of all this time by placing an apple get all my pieces and parts and crap out of scrap trash out of the way and put my apple flat just above the black here and there again I'm not gonna I'm gonna make sure my apples are um different ways this apple I'm gonna put on dimensionals same with this apple Maybe place this one right here. 
and this one right over hmm there that looks good doesn't have to be perfect anything's gonna look good then again with a little bit of liquid glue I'm gonna put those stems on there and these are the stems that we use the post-it notes so they're a little bit shorter there My other stem's way over here. Here it is. Okay, just like that. And now we have our little apples. And then just with a little bit of liquid glue, we're going to just place our stem, or our leaf, right there by the apple stem. And that's what makes it look like an apple rather than a cherry. That. And then I think this one, I'm going to put go another way go in the same way like this now we need to put our little gems on here and I'm gonna put this one smack dab in the middle of that hole there oh except look the little glue dot is still on my There we go. All right, fine. I guess I should use my take a pick tool because now I'm not having any. Now he's stuck on the back. It's hard to see that little glue dot. There we go. Okay. The little glue dot, put the little gem on top of there. There we go. And then the others. We'll just splatter here and there, put that one there, and this last little bitty one right here, just like that. So there you go. There's your cards. Thank you, Connie Stewart, for the inspiration and um, displaying how you could take those cute cherries and turn them into an apple. Here's all of our cards again. Oh, look, I found my post-it note. Again, if you want to do a um, peach, you could do it to look something like that. And let's bring in those slimline cards. And then here's the one that I did with the black ink. And here's the one that I did with the white embossing. So there you go. Now we need to discuss um, next month's club. So be watching email as to decide what we're going to use for September and October. Um, bundle wise, I'm leading toward the candy cane. Thanks for being here and thanks for watching. Thanks for being a club member and I'll see you again next month. Take care. Bye-bye.